Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. So, uh, first video that I'm trying to make since the update dropped on Monday. Um, so for me right now, it is Monday night. <laughs> um, just recently got home from work. So, just taking a look here, what we got going on. Let's see. Okay, so Shenzhen, uh, I was actually hoping to get this. So here... <laughs> Actually, since the update dropped, I played, um, I've only played, what, five rounds, and four of them were on the power plant map, and all of the rest of the rounds were on, um, or, yeah, so power plant map, and, and sorry, yeah, the, uh, the other round that I played was on Springfield, um, but, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm really glad I got Shenzhen, because, uh, the way that they have it set up now makes it way more fun. I did not know that guy was behind me. <laughs> He's just walking through. He's like, la, 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 I just wrecked you. Um, but anyways, yeah, I was hoping I would get this because I really like the update that they gave to the Shenzhen map where uh, the spawning points are and stuff. I think it was a great idea. Like, rounds on this map are so much more interesting now. Um, like, it's no longer, like, even, you know, when people are running Furies and stuff, dude, look at his health draining. So he got hit by those aphids and stuff too, but like all the rest of that damage, that just came from my punishers on my Gareth. <laughs> and the Fury's so fat that he ate a ton of my bullet spread. I was going to attack that Carnage, but I wanted to make sure to get out of the way of that Fury. Um, but anyways, yeah, so as you guys know, I mean like months ago, like maybe around like Halloween, like when they were first tossing around the idea of updating the firearms, I started upgrading a... Uh, a Punisher T and a Punisher. Well, that's what it was called at the time. Let me block this plasma here. Um, oh, more plasma. Block it <laughs> and run. All right, there we go. Um, but anyways, yeah, I started upgrading um, one of each of them just for my Gareth um, because they were talking about putting the shield uh, multiplier, uh, the shield damage multiplier on firearms. And so I was like, man, if you got that on a, on a Gareth, I mean, it's doing like 200 and I think it was like if they're maxed out, I think it's like 204,000 damage per clip. And so if you're doing that into a shield and it was doubled, then that's uh, like 410,000 damage to a shield. Oh, I'm not going to make it. I was hoping just to get over here and turn it really quick, but those thunders are wrecking me. Oh, and I got taken out by Tehran's. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I, I was like, man, just like a Gareth would be like a perfect shield breaker, you know, just like run around the map, get beacons and like break Lancelot and Galahad and Rhino shields because you could do it all in, you know, just like one clip, you know, it, it, but anyways, yeah, so that's when, when I first started upgrading him and stuff. But anyway, I, I wish I could have made him last a little bit longer. I've, I've actually been doing really well with the uh, with the Punisher Gareth um, since the uh, accelerated firearm state uh, has been added. Um, I've been doing really well with it, um, but uh, that was probably my shortest round with it. But yeah, I mean, you see from that Fury, like especially, like if you can get in close and just get like a few seconds, you can deal a lot of damage into a Fury because they're so fat, they eat like all that bullet spread. So let's just head over here. We'll get out of, uh, oh, dude, I just saw, I've been looking for, for this thing. I think they moved it like in one of the last updates, but I've been looking for this um, sign right here. So... I want to go look at it with you guys and show you and stuff. Let me just see what the battle's looking like. I don't want to, like, make my team lose because I'm wasting time. I think we're good, though. So let's just come over here and take a look at it. So this is an Easter egg for the new map. Um, so it's going to be, like, a moon base. Um, and you guys saw that on the test server. I'll take a screenshot. We'll uh, throw that up on Facebook for you guys as well. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's just, like, a little Easter egg they have uh, in the Shenzhen map for uh, for the new map. Um, that'll be coming out, which I'm excited for, and uh, it sounds like they're developing uh, and putting more resources and developing more maps here uh, in the future, so um, that'll be really fun. And, yeah, so make sure, like, if you guys want to keep up on War Robot stuff, if you go to the app called, um, or, or the website called Medium, um, either one, and you just type in, like, War Robots, like, 2.7 like it'll it'll pull up like one of the articles that the developers wrote and they give like really detailed patch notes and responses to like common questions about like what's going on with the game um so that's uh, it's interesting to me i mean not all of you guys are going to be interested in that but that's something that's interesting to me um and something i've been wanting like since the game started um is detailed patch notes not just like you know the little fluff pieces and stuff like i 
I wanted like the nitty gritty, like what were they doing and what were they thinking, and that's like exactly what they did. So they've got like developers' responses on there. Uh, anyways, yeah, the Molot Griffin, super fun since the update. Um, I, I'm interested to see like where it goes, like as the game like progresses and as this update settles in. I'm interested to see if it's going to add too much to the mid-range meta um, and stuff that the game you know can tend to have. Um, I'm wondering if it'll add a little bit too much to that, but for me, it's just really fun to take out Furies with it. Um, I was calculating it out earlier, and just how I have my Molots now, I think I have like a level, a level nine uh, regular and uh, MK2, and then a level ten regular and MK2, and it's like 145,000 damage per clip, and it dumps the clip in like 10 seconds or, or 11 seconds or something like that. So I'm just walking forward here so I can shoot like all of my bullets over the top of that. Oh, I totally got him. Did you see that? Like the delayed response there. So that delayed damage response is just the server, I think, trying to keep up with um, with the bullets and stuff like that. And the, the bullets on the MK2s, they're doing like, I think it's like 620 damage. Like on my level 10s, it's like 620 damage per clip. Or, or sorry, per bullet. Uh, they increase the damage per bullet and decrease the bullets per clip. So each clip... Um, has the same amount of bullets now whether it's a medium or a light weapon uh, they both have 70 bullets but uh, the damage per bullet was increased a lot just to try to decrease lag um, that rendering that many projectiles take or uh, makes happen in the game so that's just one of the fun little facts that you can learn from the developers in their in their uh, detailed patch notes if you guys are interested in that um, but yeah, you can like follow that and keep up on them. And it looks like they're going to post them in that little envelope thing in the hangar too. Um, in the uh, in the main hangar as you're going. So you can click on that as well. Come on. There we go. <laughs> it's like, dude, just die. Just let me kill you, okay? Gosh. All right. So that guy's got... It looks like he has pinatas. So we need to uh, kind of play it safe here. Um, oh, he's corner shooting. Oh, that was dumb. I just stood there and ate all of it. That was stupid. Okay, so let's get this guy really quick. Since he's standing there, I can shoot him, uh, get pretty solid damage in with my weapons. This is my last bot. I was kind of burning through those. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of like wasting time looking at pictures on the other side of the map and stuff like that. I feel like I've gotten like a bunch of beacons and stuff, and I'm, I don't know that my damage has been horrible, but uh, probably not as high as it could be. Oh, there I go. <laughs> So, well, anyways, looks like we have the round in the bag. Well, I don't know. It's two to two, so we'll see what happens. It looks like we've got it, though, probably. Oh, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> I just saw that Griffin walking across and, uh, and my teammate looking at him. I was like, oh, this is perfect timing. Oh, dude, I bet. If those aphids don't get him, I bet uh, my teammate with the traps there, I bet he'll be looking at him. Yeah, it looks like he is. I was just trying to see if he uh, lost one of his pinatas. Boom. There it is. <laughs> Uh, nice man, good kills. Look at this guy, he's spinning around. I think he's just checking to make sure everyone's dead. <laughs> Sometimes I just spin the top of my bot when the round ends just for fun, but... Um, anyways, yeah, thanks for checking out the video, guys. Uh, more to come on the update, I'll keep covering it and everything. If there's things, if there are things that you'd like to see, uh, let me know. I got that skin for the Gareth, because I, I haven't gotten any skins yet, and it was only 500 gold and I had it, so... Uh, anyways, hope you guys have an amazing day.